Welcome to our presentation on dental medical devices and their pre-market notification requirements. Today we'll be discussing which devices are exempt from the US FDA pre-market notification 510 K. The class to which your device is assigned determines among other things, the type of pre-marketing submission or application required for FDA clearance to market. Device classification depends on the intended use of the device and also upon indications for use. FDA has established classifications for approximately 1,700 different generic types of devices. If your device is classified as class 1 or 2, and if it is not exempt, a pre-market notification 510K will be required for marketing. All devices classified as exempt are subject to the limitations on exemptions. Pre-market notification 510K and clearance are not required before marketing the following dental medical devices in the United States. Class 1 devices. Class 1 medical devices are those with the lowest risk to patients, requiring the least amount of regulatory oversight. They are often simpler in design and have minimal potential for harm. More than 572 or 74 percent of the Class 1 devices are exempt from the pre-market notification 510K process. Class 2 Special Controls Devices Annotated as 2 subject to certain limitations. Class II medical devices pose a moderate risk to patients and users and are subject to additional regulations and controls beyond general controls. These devices require special controls such as performance standards, labeling requirements, and post-market surveillance to ensure safety and effectiveness. They often undergo a pre-market notification 510K process to demonstrate equivalence to an existing and cleared device. Class II medical devices account for 43% of all medical devices in the United States. Let's talk about dental chairs and their accessories. Only chairs without an operative unit device are 510K exempt. A dental chair with an operative unit, product code KLC, requires 510K clearance. However, a dental chair without an operative unit, product code NRU, is exempt from 510K. Now moving on to rubber dams and their accessories, only the accessories are 510K exempt. Dental floss. 510K exempt only if the device is made of inert materials and is not coated or impregnated with chemicals intended to provide a therapeutic benefit or interact with tissues of the oral cavity. Dental operative unit and accessories. Only the accessories tray to the unit is 510K exempt. Dental Operative Unit Product Code EIA requires 510K clearance. Oral Cavity Evacuator Product Code EHZ is exempt from 510K. Saliva Ejector Mouthpiece Product Code DYN is exempt from 510K. Suction Operatory Unit Product Code EBR is exempt from 510K. Operative Dental Unit Accessories Product Code NRD is exempt from 510K. Optical Impression Systems for CAD-CAM, Class 2 If the device does not meet the following special control guidance, a 510-K is required. Class 2 Special Controls Guidance Document Optical Impression Systems for Computer Assisted Design and Manufacturing, CAD-CAM of Dental Restorations Dental Burr Reprocessed Diamond Coated Burr, Product Code NME, requires 510-K clearance OTC Denture Cleanser Prescription Denture Cleanser, product code NUX, requires 510K clearance. An RX Denture Cleanser is an effervescent tablet for the removal of microorganisms from removable dentures and retainers. Over-the-counter Denture Cleanser, product code EFT, is 510K exempt. Dental Diamond Instrument Reprocessed Diamond Dental Instrument, product code NLD, requires 510K clearance. Diamond Dental Instrument Product Code DZP is 510K exempt. Dental Hand Instrument If the device is made of the same materials that were used in the device before May 28, 1976, it is exempt from the pre-market notification procedures in Subpart E of Part 807, 
subject to the limitations in Section 872.9. The following product code associated with this regulation requires 510K clearance. Dental Lapping Toolkit, product code NYG, requires 510K clearance. Dental Injecting Needle Reprocessed Dental Needle Product Code NMW requires 510K clearance. Dental Needle Product Code DZM is exempt from 510K. Orthodontic Appliance and Accessories Reprocessed Orthodontic Metal Bracket Product Code NQS requires 510K clearance. Product codes ECI, DYO, ECM, EJF, ECN, DYJ, ECO, DZD, DZC are exempt from 510K. Here is the list of 510K exempt dental medical devices. Gingival fluid measurer. Pulp tester, class 2. Electrode gel for pulp testers. Dental x-ray exposure alignment device. Dental x-ray position indicating device. Lead line position indicator. Dental x-ray film holder. Dental sonography device. Jaw tracking device. Noble metal alloy, class 2. Mercury and alloy dispenser. Dental amalgamator. Dental amalgam capsule. Preformed anchor. Resin applicator. Articulator, class 2. Precision attachment. Face bow. Dental burr. Cavity varnish, class 2. Dental cement. Preformed clasp. Hydrophilic resin coating for dentures, class 2. Performed crown. Gold or stainless steel cusp. Preformed cusp. Karaya and sodium barate with or without acacia denture adhesive. Ethylene oxide homopolymer and or carboxymethyl cellulose sodium denture adhesive. Ethylene oxide homopolymer and or karaya denture adhesive. Carboxymethyl cellulose sodium and or polyvinyl methyl ether maleic acid calcium sodium double salt denture adhesive. OTC denture cleanser. Mechanical denture cleaner. OTC denture cushion or pad, class 2. OTC denture reliner, class 2. Preformed gold denture tooth. Preformed plastic denture tooth, class 2. Partially fabricated denture kit, class 2. Optical impression systems for CAD or CAM, Class 2. Resin impression tray material. Base metal alloy, Class 2. Pantograph. Retentive and splinting pin. Root canal post. Endodontic paper point. Endodontic silver point. Gutta percha. Endodontic stabilizing splint, Class 2. Posterior artificial tooth with a metal insert. Backing and facing for an artificial tooth. Endosseous dental implant accessories. Intraoral dental drill. Dental diamond instrument. Dental hand instrument. Fiber optic dental light. Dental operating light. Dental injecting needle. Orthodontic appliance and accessories. Preformed tooth positioner. Teething ring. Class 2 teething ring, abrasive device and accessories, oral cavity abrasive polishing agent, saliva absorber, anesthetic warmer, articulation paper, base plate shellac, dental chair and accessories, prophylaxis cup, rubber dam and accessories, e dental floss, heat source for bleaching teeth, oral irrigation unit, Impression tube. Dental operative unit and accessories. Massaging pick or tip for oral hygiene. Silicate protector. Cartridge syringe. Class 2. Manual toothbrush. Powered toothbrush. Disposable fluoride tray. Preformed impression tray. Intraoral dental wax. Intraoral dental wax. Is your company manufacturing, exporting, importing, or distributing dental medical devices? U.S. initial importers as well as all manufacturers of pre-market notification 510K exempt dental medical devices are required to register their establishment and list the generic category or classification name. As of 2025, 
there are over 181,000 dental practices operating in the United States, according to the American Dental Association ADA. This figure reflects a steady growth trend, with the number of dental practices increasing by 1.3% from the previous year. The dental industry is witnessing a significant shift towards consolidation. Solo practices are becoming less common with many dentists joining group practices or affiliating with dental service organizations or DSOs. Dental offices in the U.S. generate approximately $478 billion in annual revenue, directly and indirectly supporting about 2.5 million jobs. These professionals are therefore potential users of dental medical devices. Contact ITB Holdings LLC at www.itbholdingsllc.com. You may want to use the free live support chat available 24 7 including in foreign languages for your convenience. If you found this video helpful be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more valuable insights, tutorials, and industry updates. Hit the bell icon to receive notifications whenever we release new content. Until next time, stay safe, stay compliant, and stay tuned. See you next week!